another day the Lord has kept you. Just another day. That the Lord. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Oh, He kept me from all evil. Blessing me right now. Oh, right now. Can I get one witness out there? The Lord, He's blessing you. I don't care what it looks like right now. Right now. Oh, right now.
need the Lord. Come on, say it like you need it, the Lord. His blessing on right now. Oh, right now. Oh, come on and bless the Lord, everybody. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, he's worthy of the praise. Come on, everybody, give God praise. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come before his presence with singing, singing. Know ye that he is God. Beside him there is no other. Let us pray. A prayer of invocation. And the prayer of invocation is a short, short prayer. A short sentence prayer just invoking the visitation of the Holy Spirit. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. Oh, if thou would draw thyself from me, oh, whither shall I go? And so, God, we worship you in spirit and in truth. Come on, Lord, and get all the glory. All the glory. All the honor. All all the praises. For it's in the master's name of Jesus I pray. And I count it done. Yes. In Jesus' name. The matchless name. The magnanimous name. Yes. The merciful name. The yes. miraculous name. Yes. The meaningful name. Yes. The majestic name. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. 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 Hey. Amen. Amen. Stand. Stand with me in this worship space. And in our worship space at home and in our Connect Church. Everyone, everyone stand. We sing hymn 10 and our hymnals in the National Baptist Hymnal. We sing a hymn that's a congregation of hymn. One that we've been singing, singing down through the quarters of time. Where we lift our voices and sing, Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. All because he first loved me. Hymn number 10. There is a name. There is a name I love to hear. I love its words. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. 
in my heart I desire to preach today. God can fix our broken hearts. We have to give him all the pieces. I want to preach that in the next little while. God can fix our broken hearts, but we have to give him all the pieces. I thought I had some help in here. Amen. Amen. God can. And God will. It's right here in the text. Elders coming to read this text. Listen. Listen to St. John chapter 20. St. John chapter 20. The 20th chapter of St. John. The gospel of St. John. The last of the four gospels. And John. John writes in chapter 20 verses 24 through verse 29. And, and Renee, right there in those verses. When I was perusing those verses, the Lord spoke to me and said, Hey, I can fix a broken heart, but you have to give me all the pieces. It's right there in the text. Listen and be blessed. Hallelujah. Good morning, Lord's Chapel. And you stand with me as we read God's word this morning. And um, it is, as Pastor said, St. John, the 20th chapter, the 24th through the 29th verses. And it reads as such. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands. And reach your hand here and put it in my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. But believe. And Thomas answered and said to him, 
my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have yes, believed. Have believed. The God's word for God's people. You may be seated. Yes, Amen. You may be seated. Yes. We pause now for moments. Moments of silent prayer. Everyone. Everyone here. Everyone there. Everyone, everywhere. It may not be Sunday morning. It may be Tuesday morning. You just tuned in. Maybe late Friday night and you just tuned in. Pause for a moment of sweet hour of prayer. Sister Fox learned yesterday that her grandmother my mother would say, went in, you come out no more. That means transition. Last evening, Renee and I received the call that Sister Murphy and Sister Blue, their brother, transitioned. And yet God gave all of us another chance. To get right with God. To get right with God. To take this moment. Drop your head. In our Connect Church. Whatever you're doing just now. Whenever you hear my voice. Whenever you tune in to Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church worship. And you just tune in. It is prayer time. Take a moment to be still. And just whisper a prayer in, in the morning. Uh, whisper a prayer at noon. Whisper, whisper, whisper a prayer in the evening. Or oh, oh, just to keep our hearts, our hearts, our hearts in tune for for. But I have a witness that God would answer prayers in the morning. Is there a witness that God will surely answer prayers at noon? God will. God will answer prayers in, in the evening. If we just keep our hearts, our hearts in tune. So in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the, oh, precious Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We just got to stop now and, and celebrate. Celebrate birthdays and celebrate anniversaries and celebrate promotions. Celebrate retirements. Yes. Celebrate that some of us still have jobs. Amen. We made it another week, amen. amen. Did not get a pink slip. Amen. Some of us might have deserved one, but we still, <laughs> still hold, holding on. So let's celebrate it. Do we have any birthdays for this month, the month of, of April? Any birthdays for the month of April? <laughs> That's Sister David standing. That's Zachariah standing. Amen. And in our Connect Church, in our Connect Church, worship with us. Type in, type in that name. Hey, see David Stackhouse, celebrate with me my birthday. We will celebrate another year. And the good news is, my mom said that since you will be, Sister David, since you'll be 25. For the whole year? No, no. Oh, hey, I love that spirit. I love that spirit. I love that spirit. See, at, at the school, as part of what I, what I do is celebrations, 
And they always say, hey, Reverend Stackhouse, don't you tell my age. I love that spirit. Sister Davis said, I've earned all my years. Amen. <laughs> Somebody please glean from that. Glean from that. Amen. Because if it had not been for the Lord on your side, there is another alternative, you know. Come on, somebody get that next time. There is an alternative for you having another year. And so we celebrate. Thank you for that. And I lift that. I say that out there for the thousands will be blessed. And don't be ashamed of your age. And then folks say, folk always say, well, I might be this age, but I don't, I don't look as old as I am. It doesn't matter how you look. But what's on the inside? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. A whole lot of us are dressed up on the outside. Two up on the inside. Amen. So thank you for that inspiration. Zechariah, how old are you, sir? All right. Zechariah said that proud. Nine. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, happy birthday to you. Come on, let's sing our birthday song. May you, every day of the year, I clap your hand like Sister Davis clapping. One more round, one more round, one more round. Oh, oh, oh. Happy birthday, yes, it. Come on, buddy. May you. celebrate. Amen. Amen. There's a song called Celebration Time. Yes, Come on. Do we have any? You all know that song. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any anniversary? Brothers, brothers, check to make sure. Have an anniversary. If you have an anniversary and I connect church, just type it in. Just like Sister David said, be proud and thankful for the year. Another year the Lord has kept us. Amen. Amen. Do we have any retirements? Any new retirements? Do we have anybody that's glad that you're still retired? Amen. And still here. Amen. Amen. Be retired. Amen. Amen. Do we have any promotions? Do we have everybody still holding on to their jobs? Amen. Amen. And we thank God. This one last celebration. Is anyone here glad that it's tithing time? Yeah. Amen. We celebrate. We celebrate and we give God the time. Ask me. Ask me after worship. Ask me after worship. Hey, hey, Pastor, these first three months of the year, what is the total of our tithe and offering? Ah, oh, God is up to something. Amen. You, 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 please ask me, please. I, I can't keep it to myself. You know, I did not tell it on the whole world. But you need to know what God is doing with this ministry. You just ought to know. Ought to know. We are getting ready, getting ready. We're getting ready for homecoming on next Sunday. Amen. Amen. Homecoming on next Sunday. We will celebrate. We will celebrate 113 years in the historicity of Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, 113 years. And on next Sunday, we will give $1 for every year. We'll give $1 an offering for every year. Can I still get amens? Amen. 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 we we'll give $1 for every year of the history of our church. And get ready because you hear us, trustees and deacons and I, we're going to get together and you hear us begin to make plans and talk about and anyone who wants to be a part of it because we got to get ready for our 15th pastor, no, pastor, 15th church anniversary. Right here, amen. Right here, right here, right here. 
Now, I hope we have more excitement than three claps. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Maybe if I announce that we're going to cook some chitlins, somebody get happy. Amen. Now I got to rise. Amen. Amen. We are going to have a time in worship and in celebration. On next Sunday, on next Sunday, I remember a few years ago, I seen your pastor say, hey, hey, you all, let's have a big carnival for homecoming. Let's have a big Ferris wheel, the biggest one we can find. So we're going to have a carousel. We're going to have a big Ferris wheel, sliding boards and games and festivities and music and uh, challenges, the senior citizens games and youth games, Zachariah. And it's all. We're going to have a rodeo of food trucks. Zion, Zion start clapping the hands. We're going to have a rodeo of food trucks with nothing but desserts. Every day desserts. <laughs> See that praise over there, amen. We're going to have fun, and when I need your help, I'll tell you after worship because I need you to help us make this possible. I will need your time and your service. I need at least two hours of you all to help us make this possible. We're expecting, we, last year we, we had over 5,000 to come. This year we're expecting, we're expecting 10,000. Amen. Your help. And to God be all the glory. Let the church shout amen. amen. God anoint and appoint our 113th anniversary. As we come together on Wednesday in our pep rally with all those schools and those four marching bands a part of our pep rally for homecoming on, on this Wednesday. Lord, meet us there at 6 p.m. as we go forward in faith. And then God, meet us as we go forward on that Friday. As I go forth to coach another winning basketball team for our homecoming. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Help us to play with good sportsmanship. And then on next Sunday morning, right early at 8.30, bless us in worship. At 10 a.m., bless us with our church homecoming Sunday school. And then at 11 o'clock a.m. again, be close to us, Lord. And then, Lord, at 1 a.m., 1 p.m., for that great crescendo, as we come together at the John D. Fuller Recreation Center to fellowship one with the other, we ask it done, and let us begin right here, right now, as we give thee the tithe and the offering in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, here we go. Amen. The song says, I'll say yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Come on, somebody, put those hands together. Yeah. I'm trading my sorrows. the joy of the Lord, yeah, I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain, I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord, here we go everybody say yes Lord, 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 yes Yeah. 
broken heart, but we must give him all the pieces. Amen. God will fix what I had at least four witnesses. God will fix a broken heart. Now, I know we get an amen on that part. But what's holding some of us up is that we must give him all the pieces. I don't have but 11 minutes. So, Brother Hill, when I've talked 11 minutes, if you just raise your hand or stand up or something, and I'll, I'll know then I need to take my exit. I'm determined not to have knee surgery. And the doctor said, if I do what I tell him to do, then we can make it. So he asked me not to be on my knee more than 15 minutes every one hour. Lord, help me. According to the American Heart Association, the AHA, a broken heart syndrome or a tecosubo cardiomyopathy, that's technical term, is a rational and a reaction of our hearts to an overwhelming surge of stress caused by an emotional traumatizing event. A person with a broken heart often has episodes of doubt, despair, And desolation. I vehemently and thought provokingly, I, I submit to you that, that the disciple Thomas, the disciple Thomas, endured an overwhelming surge of stress caused by an emotional traumatic event. Thomas believed his Jesus to be the redeemer of Israel. He believed, like all of those in Judaism, he believed that Jesus would be the one that would overthrow the Roman government. Come on, walk with me. Yes, sir. Thomas was not there. No one is recorded biblically 
No disciple recorded of being at the cross, but one. That's John. The Bible said, he whom Jesus loved. The other disciples did possibly simply like I would have done. They ran off to save themselves. Well, he had a traumatic experience because not only was his believed to be deliverer of the Roman government, but he also knew that his Jesus was not of this world. He knew that his Jesus could not be defeated. Anybody know that here? He knew that his Jesus could cause the dead to come back alive. But what he did not know, that his Savior could lay his life down. But in three days, up again. Now you got to hear it because I got to cross the field. His Savior was crucified, died, and, and was buried. And now to add insult to injury, it is now the first day of the week. And the women, those who are members of, of what is called the followers of, of the way, before we were called Christians in the book of Acts, we were called followers of the way. And the reason we were called followers of the way because remember our Lord said, I am the way, the truth and the light. So when, when the followers of Jesus would move about, people would say, oh, that's, that's all, those are those old followers of the way. At home. I like what they say about us now. That's the old Lewis Chapel folk. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. That's those old Lewis Chapel followers out there. Uh, yeah, well, traumatic as it was, St. John 20 and 17 declared this, that Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, do not touch me. Hold on to that. Do not touch me. Somebody said, do not touch me. Get I got to come back around it. He said to Mag Magdalene, Mary Magdalene, do not touch me. Do not lay hold on me. For I have not yet ascended to my father. Instead, go and tell my disciples that I, I, will, I will meet them in Galilee. And then verse 10, then verse 10, Jesus said to the women, do not be afraid. Go and tell my disciples and Peter to meet me there, to meet me in Galilee. And there, there they shall see me. Well, Galilee, biblically, is a metaphor for meet me in the church. For the church is the place of worship. The place dedicated and set aside to worship the Lord. Don't know how you feel about it. But I believe that a life without worship is like an unsharpened pencil. It has no point. Let me come around this way. A life without worship is just like a pencil without a point. It had no purpose. Yeah. Well, it's unsharpened pencil. It has no point. Verse 24, 20 and 24, Thomas was in the wrong place at the wrong time. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Anybody here ever been in the wrong place at the wrong time? You don't, 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 don't wave your hand, don't, don't nod your head, just look straight. But I can wave my hand and say, God has sure got me out of some mess. Thank God, because there have been times God reached way down. Come on, man, I got to cut across the field. God, God reached me way, reached way down. Got me out of a mess. 
I was even too shamed for the sun to come up the next morning. Hallelujah. Let me stop right now and give God heaven. About two minutes praise, a two second praise break. Thank you, Jesus. There's a two second praise break. Thank you, Jesus. But if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where, 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 where would I be? Hey, W. W. Thompson down in South Carolina, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, call on my help me or I read the journal. The doctor told me if I didn't if I didn't act right, he would put me out of the pool bit. I, I got to hold myself. Listen. Mm. Thomas had a broken heart. Because Thomas was like some of us. He said, all I have had is gone. How do you know Thomas had a broken heart? Because verse 25, verse, verse 25 says, verse 24 and 25, 24 says, but Thomas, one of the 12, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. He was not there when Jesus came. And then verse 26 and Verse 25 tells us how to mend a broken heart. How to fix a broken heart. Verse 26 and verse 27. And after eight days again, his disciples were with within. And Thomas was with them. Eight days later, Thomas was in the number. I don't know how you feel about it. But I'm glad to be in the number. Somebody help me shout one more time. Come on, come on. I'm glad to be in the number one more time. Verse 26 says this. After eight days, the disciples came together, and Thomas was with them. And then came Jesus, the doors being shut. But Jesus stood in the midst, and Jesus said, Peace be still. Uh, the door was shut. Jesus just stepped right through the wall. Amen. Jesus stepped right through the wall. All I know is when I'm in trouble, the Lord just step right in. Won't he do it? Every time, every, every, every time I really, really, not only when I'm in trouble, but when I'm on the mountaintop, Jesus will just step right in. Yes, he will. And then Jesus said to Thomas, remember he told Mary Magdalene, don't touch me because I have yet not ascended to my father. But now in verse 27, verse 27 he says to Thomas, Thomas reach hither thy finger and then behold my hands and reach the hand and thrust it in my side. He said, of me. Hold me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Eight days ago he told Mary, don't touch me. I have not yet ascended. But what's the difference in these eight days? I tell you, Thomas said, except I see the print of the nails in his hand. He said, I put my finger into his, into his side, except I hold him for myself. I can't believe Jesus gave Thomas just what he asked for. Jesus gave Thomas just what he asked for. We sang a song back down in South Carolina that said, what you need, God got it. That's right, baby. Come on, somebody. Whatever you need. My time is up. I'm coming in now. Whatever we need, God got it. Yeah. God will fix my broken heart. But I got to give him all the pieces. Thomas gave him all the pieces. He said, except I believe until I see. 
He gave him his all his all. And the Lord said, blessed are you, Thomas, for you have believed. You have seen and believed. But then he said, hey, blessed are those who have not seen, but yet they believe. Is there anybody here who can say, I have not seen, but I believe. I didn't see him in his glory, but I see his majestic, his majestic moving in my life. Well, let me close by saying this. Your heart may be broken, but if you give God, well, if I give God all the pieces, God will fix my broken heart. Well, though the storms keep on raging in my life, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day. Still the hope that lies within is reassuring. As I keep my eyes upon the distant shore. I know he'll lead me safely to that blessed place he has prepared. But if the storm don't cease. If the storm don't cease. I got to try to be still. If the storms don't cease, somebody stand up. I, somebody stand up. I can't. I can't jump. I want to jump. But maybe I'll just jump on one leg one time. If the storm don't cease, hey! And if the wind just keep on blowing in my life, in my life, my soul, my soul. My soul has been my soul. My soul. I can't jump. I can't jump one time. Can I jump one time? My soul. My soul. My soul. My soul. My soul. In the Lord. Oh. I realize that sometimes in this life we're going to be told by the waves and the current. That seems so sweet. But listen, y'all, in the world of God, oh, we've all got an anchor. And that anchor keeps us steadfast. That anchor keeps us steadfast. And unmovable. Despite the choice, but if the storm don't even see, listen, y'all, just in case the wind keeps on blowing, keeps on blowing in your life.
church open. Matter of fact, I know for a fact that God's church doors is just like Waffle House. God's doors are always open. If you don't come to him now, you can come to him. But after the Lord touch your heart, your soul is convinced. When you just Will you just come? Please come, please. Please, come on. Please turn around, please. Please ask the Lord, Lord, save me. Lord, raise me. Lord, do a new thing in my life. Hallelujah. God will fix a broken heart. And we must give him all, all the pieces, all the pieces. Call, call Lewis Chapel Church. Call C. David Stackhouse. Call Chris Stackhouse. Call, 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 call Tyrone. Call, call Tyrone Davis. Call Tony Coleman. Call, call Renee Stackhouse. Call, call somebody. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call, call, call. Call, call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. If there be anybody here in this space, after this benediction, I'll, I'll sit right here. If there's anybody who desires to say, hey, hey, see David stack house, I can't hold out no longer. I come. I come. It may be 5 o'clock today, 10 o'clock on tomorrow. But whenever the Lord, whenever the Lord do a new thing in your life, change your real life. Make up your heart, make up your mind. Hey, say Sometimes it's hard God do a new thing from in my life. Hallelujah. 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 And now to him who's able. I know he's able. I know he's able to keep us all from falling. The only wise God I have to follow. Power, Holy Ghost power, saving power, raising power may keep you, lead you, 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 you. Yes, right, and especially, especially you. Right here, right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Malik. Amen. He's the one in our lives.